Um, I would like to share with you the results of week one, actually days one through six, of my journey on the steak and egg diet. I will be uploading videos every single Monday so that you guys can keep on track with me as long as I'm doing it. Hopefully it lasts quite a while because it's working really well and I hope you guys enjoy. Now I do have a paper that I'll be picking up constantly to go ahead and remind myself of all the important things I want to tell you guys about. If I do skip anything, any questions you have or would like to know about what I'm dealing with or going through, please go ahead and leave a comment below after the video to let me know and I'll make sure to address them in my next video. Now to get started, let's see. Um, so as I told you, the name of the diet is the steak and eggs diet. It's literally all I'm eating is steak and eggs. Um, this is what my average steak looks like. This, this is raw, this is not cooked, I'm sorry. Um, but it's about the size of my hand. That makes sense, well not if I put my thumb out. It's about the size of the palm of my hand. Um, it's a good thick steak. I don't know if you can see how thick it is there. It's a good thick steak. They're really good the way I cook them. I only use salt and pepper and garlic powder. Literally the only spices I use. Um, and the only thing I drink is water. Sometimes iced water, but just water. No lemon, no cucumber, no nothing in it. Okay, um, let's see here. The reason I'm on the diet is because I'm trying to change my inner self, the way I look at myself. Um, I'm trying to lose weight for health reasons, to be able to run around with my kids, just to be an overall better me. And I'm having a lot of toxifying thoughts and problems and issues in my life and I figured why not try again on a diet. And I chose a steak and egg diet because I love steak and I figured I could stick to it, which I have been, which is really amazing. Um, but one of the things I'm doing is trying to read a book. Uh, this one is, oh man, that's backwards, isn't it? I'll send a picture. It's How to Be You. Um, this one's by Jeffrey Marsh. Um, now, it may not be the book for you, but I seem to like it really well so far. Um, and I'm just basically doing everything I can to up who I am. Now, I understand this video may be a little long. I'm going to try to cut it short. I do apologize. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what I want to go ahead and let you guys know is that before the diet, um, I ate things like tons of fast food, your McDonald's, your Wendy's, your Mex and your carne asada fries, those were good. Um, and just pretty much anything and everything um, from McDonald's to um, Olive Garden, Chili's, yeah, you name it, I, I definitely ate it. Um, but it has been since May 16th of 2017 since I've had even a drop of soda on my tongue. So it's been three months of no soda whatsoever. So the only things I've been drinking are milk, sweet tea, and water. Um, on the diet though, like I said, I only drink water. Now, also on the diet, it doesn't talk about, from what I've seen or read, whether or not you can have medications. Um, but obviously everybody has them. I have anxiety, depression, uh, back pain for arthritis, yada yada yada, I can go on and on. Um, unfortunately without insurance, I don't have my fluoxetine and all that stuff that I would take for my mental health or any pain medications. I'm supposed to be taking ibuprofen, but it's not my favorite thing. I do have a medical marijuana card, so I do smoke marijuana. Get used to it, you don't like it, bye. I'm gonna cuss, don't like it, bye, okay? In my channel, I'm going to talk how I want. Fuck your opinion. Fuck my opinion. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is a lotion I use on my knees. It is THC infused. I use it on my knees at night because sometimes I get a little achy, painful, and I can't sleep. Speaking of not being able to sleep, I take this. It's a nighttime sleep aid. I get it over the counter at Walmart. It's a gel tab. I take one. It's 50 milligrams. It helps me go to sleep at night. Otherwise, I'm up night. All fucking night. Okay. On the diet, I have severe migraines, severe, like, I am in bed with an ice pack, like, dying migraines. Now, this is most likely due to the fact of all of the toxins I was ingesting during the diet. Um, I did reach out on Facebook to talk to a few of my friends, some of them are in medical fields or have dealt with it or have gone on diets themselves. And that's what they're all leading it to. They're saying it's caffeine and toxins from all the foods I ate, all the sugars my body's used to. And it's just saying, what are you doing to me? Where is the stuff I relied on every single day? And I'm saying, it's gone. 
So it's giving me headaches. So I took the acetaminophen, basically off brand Tylenol if you didn't know. This is a um, cherry coated pill. I dislike the taste of pills. They make me sick. I gag. I have to like shove them in my throat to take them. It's awful. Um, but these are cherry coated, so I know that's a little bit of sugar that I shouldn't have. But it's on there because I have to do what I have to do. I'm going to be switching to like an Excedrin migraine medication though because they're not working that well. I do take this as needed. I haven't taken it yet. I do plan to take a couple of them in the next day or two. Um, I have these and I take them occasionally to prevent medical conditions. Um, I do not want to go into the medical situation that I have. That's very personal. Um, but if you'd like to know what these are used for, it's lysine and these are 1000 milligram tablets. I'll take one to two of them once to twice a day when needed, which is maybe, maybe never. Um, like once a month, every couple of months maybe, depending on when they're needed. I'm supposed to take it every day as according to my doctor, but I just, like I said, I hate pills. Um, and the last thing I take is a prenatal vitamin gummy. No, I'm not trying to get pregnant, um, but prenatals are, from what my doctor says, the best way to get your medication, um, all of your vitamins and stuff is within a prenatal because it gives you everything you need plus what you would need for if you were trying to tr conceive or have a baby or carrying a baby um, and whatever your body doesn't eat flushes out so I figured this is going to give me everything I hate the taste of pills that's why it's a gummy yes I know that's sugar but it hasn't seemed to affect me on the diet that's everything for that there okay let me go ahead and get back to what we were doing here um, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about the diet uh, my first day of the diet was the 9th of August this year I weighed in starting at 233.6 pounds. Dear Lord. Um, for some of you, that's nothing. For some of you, that's a lot. For me, it's a whole fuck of a lot. And it's basically the most I've ever weighed. I think the most I've ever weighed was 235. Um, but it's weighed differently. Now, um, every day I've lost a little bit of weight. I don't want to go into every single date exactly because you know it goes 9, 10, 11, 12, so on and so forth. This is six days altogether. Today is the sixth day. Okay, so for day day one, I weighed in at 233.6. Ate my steak and eggs. Two steaks a day, eight eggs a day. I'm cutting that down. That's too many eggs. Um, the next day, I weighed in at 228.8, and that was a total of 4.8 pounds lost in one fucking day, man. That's awesome. Okay, so then I'm like really excited. I'm like, let's do this. The next day, I weighed in at 226.2. It's a loss of 2.6. I'm still cool with that. That's another two pounds, okay? All right. Next day, 225.6. Only a 0.6 pound loss, but I'd already lost so much during the week, I figured it was bound to happen. I didn't figure to lose more than two pounds a week, so I'm very excited already. All right. The very next day, I weighed in at 222.2 pounds. 3.4 pounds lost after that. Now I figured I was plateauing, so I didn't expect to lose any weight, and that's when I decided to go ahead and make it my binge day. So this is my fifth day, it's yesterday, and I came in at 222.2 pounds. I'm very excited, very happy. I now don't want to go on my cheat day, but my migraines are so heavy, and I didn't realize what was going on at that time, and so I was like, I'm going on my cheat day. I'd already bought everything the, deep, the day before, and I went ahead and ate my cheat foods, which I will get to as soon as I finish my weight here. Um, this morning I weighed in at 223.0 pounds, which was a gain of 0 0.8 pounds. Not bad. Less than a full pound gain. Okay. So, altogether I lost a total of 11.4 pounds within 6 days. Within that same 6 days, I gained 0 0.8 pounds with an altogether total loss of 10.6 pounds pounds in six days six days it's phenomenal and it's also for most people considered unhealthy but I don't care I felt okay other than my headaches I wasn't hungry I wasn't craving anything I was very satisfied very happy okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and get to what I ate on my cheat day now, this is a little booklet, my last initial there, um, that I have just for, it's like a diary or whatever. Okay, so I woke up at about 6.30 in the morning, my weight was 222.2, um, I told you that I felt um, at that point I had lost 11.4 pounds because I hadn't gained my point eight back yet. Um, I wrote in here that that was amazing because honestly it is, I feel like it's amazing and if you don't, fuck it, don't care. 
Um, for breakfast, I had a third of a caramel crunch donut. I could not, I usually eat three donuts on a regular basis. I would eat three. Um, and in this case, I had a third of each donut because I couldn't eat more than basically a full donut. Um, a third of a caramel crunch, a third of a chocolate, and a third of a powdered donut. I took that down with 12 ounces of the reduced fat shamrock strawberry milk. Um, later on in that morning, I went ahead and had a a cup of uh, eight ounce cup of coffee and because I was previously a creamer fiend in my coffee I had like about a fourth a cup of creamer fourth to a third a cup of butter pecan ice cream creamer that my mom got it was a really good coffee a little too sweet for the first time ever my sweet tooth is completely like halfway diminished everything tastes weird it's so odd so that's what I had for my like little mid-morning snack um, for lunch, I had two chicken sandwiches from Wendy's. Those are the ones with just the iceberg lettuce and the mayo or whatever on the bun with the chick breaded chicken patty. Um, so I had two of those and that was filling. Um, my kids had gotten McDonald's, so I went ahead and from there I got one of their large sweet teas. Um, that lasted me forever. I didn't even finish it with my lunch. Um, for the snacks throughout the day, I had five original wheat thins, those little tiny squares, and it was like down there too much for that, which was insane. I had one homemade peanut butter cookie because my mom was making them. Oh, I love that woman. Um, and I had a four ounce glass of whole milk, whole white milk, while I was eating that cookie. Um, and then later on, I had one butterscotch candy. Um, it's the hard candies, not the chewable ones, so you like suck on it for forever. Um, for dinner, I had one Polish sausage, um, no bun, and a half a plate, flat leveled, not piled up, of uh, cheese sauce noodles, and um, we didn't put the right amount of cheese sauce in there, so it was like as if it was coated with cheese, but like never dripped, like you could pick the noodle up and it wouldn't go anywhere, it was just, but it had cheese sauce on it apparently. It was actually pretty good, um, but that was my dinner, and for my lunch snack area and dinner I was still drinking that large sweet tea that I got from McDonald's um, I just kept adding ice to it so it was really watered down uh, by the end of the night it was all gone and I filled it up with ice water halfway the first time and I think full the full, yeah full the last time um, and then for my snack it was about 10 o'clock at night so I shouldn't have ate but I had gotten some green like big green grapes and I was very excited to eat them on my cheat day because I hadn't had grapes in a while. So, because I wasn't that hungry and I knew I shouldn't eat them that hungry. I only had two just to taste them, they're so good. Um, so I had two grapes and of course the ice water I was just talking about. And that was literally everything I had on my cheat day. So it wasn't that bad. Um, but that is everything I wanted to, I believe, talk to you guys about. If, like I said, if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like to know that I didn't divulge, um, please go ahead and write a comment down below. I definitely want to get that answer to you in my next video or just comment back to you on the comment section. Um, if you guys want to keep following along or you know somebody who might benefit or love the weight loss effect that I'm getting from this um, diet plan here, go ahead and have them subscribe to my channel. Go ahead yourself, subscribe to my channel. And like I said, I'm going to be making videos every single Monday. It's my Monday. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, you have to put it on my suit.